I went into practice in San Mateo at Mills Hospital. And while I was there, I had frequent colds. Uh, I would have a cold every two months, and I also had seasonal hay fever. Now, the thing was that at that point, Linus Pauling was writing this book, Vitamin C and the Common Cold, and I was ready to try anything. So at that time, I, as luck would have it, got this powdered ascorbic acid. And I didn't know how much to take, so I took a level teaspoon, which turned out to be four grams, and was astonished that it knocked out my symptoms of hay fever in about 15 minutes. And then that lasted for about four hours, and then I took another dose and another dose and another dose. And at the end of the day, I had taken 16 grams and was relieved of the hay fever. Well, I didn't catch a cold for about nine months, but I did catch a cold then, which was a disappointment. But I noticed that after about 20 minutes to half an hour, that the symptoms of the cold went away, but then they came back in about an hour. So I took repeatedly took more doses, and by the end of the day, I'd taken about 60 grams, blocking the symptoms of the cold. And the next day, I was all well. Well, I thought that was rather interesting. So I tried this out on patients. And I found that without exception, in patients who have good stomachs, that is, no ulcers, no colitis, or things like that, that the average person can take about 10 to 15 grams of ascorbic acid divided up into four to six doses for 24 hours before it produces this loose stool or diarrhea. The astonishing thing was that that same person with a mild cold could take 30 to 60 grams, a bad cold 100 grams, a flu 150 grams, and then I realized the magnitude of this phenomenon when this 23-year-old 98-pound lady librarian came in with severe mononucleosis. She ate a pound of ascorbic acid in 24 hours, excuse me, a pound of ascorbic acid in two days without so much as gas. This was over 200 grams per 24 hours. At first I didn't know what was going on here, but then I was talking with Erwin Stone, who had written the book Vitamin C and the, uh, Vitamin C, the Healing Factor, and we had decided that what was happening here was that these diseases caused, caused the formation of free radicals and that the ascorbate, when it destroyed the free radicals, the free radicals destroyed the ascorbate and of the ascorbate, what doesn't reach the rectum doesn't cause diarrhea. That's why the sicker you are, the more you can take. And so we call this titrating to bowel tolerance. And this is why people are able to take these huge amounts of ascorbic acid and to an extent, the amount of ascorbic acid that you can take when you're sick indicates somewhat how sick you are, how toxic you are. So anyway, I began to use these small amounts of ascorbic acid, use small, small amounts of ascorbic acid on patients post-operatively when I did their hip surgery at Mills Hospital. And it was amazing. These little old ladies who had broken their hips were not taking many pain medicines and they were getting out of the hospital in half the time. And some of them said they felt better than before they, they broke their hip. And everything went fine for about three months until the staff discovered what I was doing and I was labeled a quack and all my referrals were cut off. Well, they couldn't bankrupt me because this prosthesis was bringing in royalties at that time. But I moved up to Incline Village, Nevada, where I was the first physician in town, and the people either had the choice of going over Mount Rose into Reno, uh, which was difficult during the winter time, or into Truckee, which was another snow pass. Uh, and so uh, I was the only physician in town for the first three, three years, and I had half the town on vitamin C before the next physician showed up. Half the town thought I was crazy, and the other half thought I could walk on water, so that was okay. So anyway, that's where I got the experience with vitamin C and all those infectious diseases was up at Incline Village, because when people come in who are, don't have any chronic diseases, uh, they don't have troubles like ulcers and uh, colitis and, and other GI tract problems. Uh, the average person who's eating sugar and despite that is, is in good health and they're athletic and all that and they just have their colds and flus and mononucleosis and hepatitis and gonorrhea and syphilis and diseases like that, the vitamin C just knocks the hell out of these diseases and when you take it to tolerance. So that's where I got my vast experience with infectious diseases.